first, before we start filling your mind with content and lots of craziness though, let's just dive into this intro to mindfulness session, this kickoff session. I'd like to introduce Lee Papa, who is going to join us and lead us in the best way to kick off today's event. Lee, thank you so much for joining us today. I am thrilled to be here. Thank you, Liz. Um, I'm excited to be a part of this collaborative event um, with incredible speakers and really looking to elevate uh, the concepts of virtual meetings and self-care. So we're going to get started with that. Let's do it. Exactly. Let's see. All right. If it wants to move, hmm. talk about technology. Oops, there we go. There we go, we're doing it. So in the first screen, I always ask you to take what resonates and leave the rest because it just might be a seed for you for later and give yourself permission to have whatever experience you're going to have in this session, in any session. And there is something for you, I promise. Ooh. We're acting up here. <laughs> so I move through a lot of slides. And yes, the content is about mindfulness and meditation. Uh, but it's also a lot of content for you to uh, consume. And I highly encourage you to take screenshots, take uh, a little photo of slides so that you can reflect back on the message. So where are we today? Liz was talking about it. I like this slide with a roller coaster because sometimes every moment of every day feels like a roller coaster ride, right? For all of us and especially in this industry. But what I want you to understand is that just like that roller coaster, you do get off and there is solid ground. So it's how we ride that roller coaster, our choices that we make, our perspective that is either going to make that ride with more ease and grace, or there's going to be resistance and it's going to be a rocky road. So the tools and tips and concepts that we're going to talk about over this next 30 minutes is going to help you ride that roller coaster so that it doesn't feel so jarring to you and that you might just actually thrive during this time. So what is stress? Psychology Today says stress generally refers to two things, the psychological perception of pressure on the one hand and the body's response to it on the other, which involves multiple systems from metabolism to muscles to memory. I know I hear a lot from my clients, from students saying, I my memory is shot during all of this heightened stress. I can't remember what I did a moment ago. How many times have I gone to my desk or my office or the refrigerator or the next room, can't even remember what it was that I was going there for. I don't think we need psychology today to tell us what stress is. I think we intimately know it. I don't know what's happening with my slides. Don't want to move past. There we go. So stress is not a badge of honor. And those of you who have heard me speak before for many years throughout the meetings industry, this was a, a mantra because so many of us wear that stress like a badge of honor and it's not a requirement to get the job done. So what are some of the stresses that you are feeling? Information overload. Again, Liz was talking about them, you know, changing up things, learning new skills, uh, starting a project, two steps forward, one step back, things changing, renegotiating contracts, work challenges, unknown future, family conflict, health issues. All of these are very real issues that we're all feeling. But are you giving stress the power? Are you focusing on the stressor? Back to that, uh, don't wear it like a badge of honor. Are you reinforcing the issues? Are you engaging others? Are you getting on that call? Are you texting? This is what happened to me. That is reinforcing the energy behind the stress. Or are you in resistant energy, pushing against anything that possibly is different or a new challenge? 
Are you resisting it and pushing against it? That adds more stress to the body. Some of the reactions or responses that we have to stress could be any number of these. Your body resistance, the tension in your body, the clenched teeth, the shoulders. Are you using food as some sort of soothing or comfort mechanism? Are you in a poor mood? Are you lashing out? Are you finding that you're angry and that's not really who you are? Because maybe you're suppressing and, and pushing down emotion that you're, you're not really dealing with. Are you having meltdowns? Are you binge watching just mindless television? Are you using alcohol or other things like prescription drugs and, and smoking to soothe yourself, to alleviate this stress? Are these learned responses that you have? And these are all questions to ask yourself. Is it a program that is supporting my well-being? Is it a pattern that I learned from childhood growing up? Is it a conscious decision or is it a knee-jerk reaction? Is it running that underlying program, right, in the subconscious? Is it helping? So what can you do about all this stress? Well, you can choose to initiate positive change, and that's what we're doing today, right? With Unplugged and starting off, kicking off with a mindfulness session. So we can choose to activate well-being support in our lives. We can change the psychological perception of our stress. We're going to learn about that. And you can learn to go within and meditate, honoring your self-care and your self-love. You can shift your patterns. Is that the most adorable puppy? I, I just love that picture. <laughs> you can exercise. You can get moving. You can uh, start to garden, carve out time for personal um, upliftment. Activate joy in your life. Focus on what is really important to you. You can also use healing modalities like um, energy healing, like Reiki. If you've not heard of that, I encourage you to look that up or sound healing. So we're going to talk about the tools and concepts now. This is the basics, folks. What is mindfulness? <clears throat> mindfulness at its simplest form equals awareness. Oh, Lee, I'm aware. Well, here's the, the kicker. Mindfulness equals awareness of your thoughts and actions and the world around you, drum roll, in non-judgment. Ooh, that's the one, right? And it's not a passive way of living. It's living in neutrality. So what happens is when you are in practice, the real high highs and the real low lows even out to being in equanimous state. And we utilize meditation as part of the mindfulness practice. There are two different modalities, two different practices, but they dovetail beautifully. And meditation is about quieting the mind, focusing your attention, obtaining that mental and emotional even state, that equanimous state. So if mindfulness equals awareness of your thoughts and actions in the world around you and non-judgment, who are you judging the most? Yep, I can hear you. We judge ourselves the most. So we must start there. We must start with ourselves. No external changes are going to happen until we make those internal changes. So on my website, you have access to a free download, The Roadmap to Living Mindfully, Understanding Self-Love, Self-Care, and Self-Mastery. So go to leepapa.com. There's three boxes. On the far right box is that download. Highly encourage you download that little booklet because that's going to be a nice foundational piece and reminder for you to go within to focus on self-love and self-care. These two books, my the first one, <laughs> A Year of Mindfulness for Beginners, is a great 365-day journey companion book. You're going to have links to that in the chat, I do believe. The other one is Self-Observation. This was such an aha book for me, and it's a very easy read. I threw it in my bag all the time, and I go back and I reread it. Only when we know thyself through self-observation, practice, are we capable of being present to life with genuine conscience? And this is what we're talking about. Really being aware and present in the moment, present in our lives, being mindfully aware and non-judgment. 
self-observation. There are several obstacles that I hear all the time about why people don't embrace a mindfulness and meditation practice, specifically meditation. I don't have enough time. I can't shut off the monkey mind. I don't think I'm doing it right. Well, all three of these obstacles can be completely washed away, and you're going to experience it in this session with just a very short meditation. You'll have access to download free short meditations from my website. If you go to leepapa.com slash meditation, go to the free gifts, you'll see my most popular meditation is six minutes long. Do you have six minutes? Yes, you do. And if you're saying no, then we have another conversation to have. So please call me. Um, but that mind chatter, we're not going to resist it, right? Because we're all kind of type A, we get things done, we're always moving, we are multitasking. So how on earth am I going to shut that off? Well, you're not. You're going to practice meditation and that allows all of that chatter to smooth out. And before you know it, in consistent practice, because that's the key, consistent practice, not the amount of time that you meditate, but the consistency, you're going to find that you're going to have silence and it's going to be blissful. And you are doing it right because you're showing up and you're here. So thank you and bravo. Are you meditating correctly? You're showing up consistently. You're honoring and respecting the practice for yourself. You're giving yourself permission to have whatever experience you're going to have. So it's not a have to do, it's a get to do. And you're going to use guided meditations to focus your attention, especially if you're new. This is a great way for the mind to focus. And before you know it, the body is relaxed and you have let down maybe for the first time in a very, very long time. And then you're going to keep practicing. So you're doing it right. This is a very key point. When you are in the middle of whatever chaos, drama is going on, conflict, if you are in the middle and you feel like you're being whipped around like a tornado, you are acting as the participant. You're leaning in. In mindfulness practice, we're the observer. And it becomes more like, oh, I see what's happening. I see that's happening for me because I need to work on X, Y, Z. Or I see what's happening because I haven't been listening and the universe has been telling me to move away from this, but I'm not listening. And so it's getting stronger. Right. So when we are in mindfulness practice, we take the beat usually, but it is called a practice, right? So it's not something to conquer or achieve or overcome. It is a constant practice. And we give ourselves permission to be in practice. So remember to be the observer in your life. And the next time, which will happen, that you're in the middle of a tornado, you're going to have that little trigger, that mindful awareness that says, oh, I'm, I'm leaning in as the participant. I'm going to take a beat and step back and be the mindful observer. Then you're going to learn that the contrast, that conflict, those obstacles are a great gift. They are our greatest teacher, and contrast brings clarity. It gives us an opportunity to know ourselves more fully, and you'll learn to actually like the contrast. And we are in an extraordinary time, and we can decide with every single decision that comes our way to either be love-based or fear-based, promote inclusion or separateness, be in a culture of support or erosion, be in non-judgment or judgment. This is your choice every single time. And it leans back or goes back to your core values. So I encourage you to ask yourself, does this align with my core values? when making every decision. And you'll find very quickly that that's a muscle that you haven't worked in a while. And then it'll get stronger and stronger. And then the decisions will be easier for you to make. So we're going to move into the meditation portion. But before we do, I'm going to ask you to give yourself permission to have your experience. Set an intention. And maybe that is an inspired connection or many inspired connections that you're going to have during this Taxi Talk Global Unplugged uh, conference, right? And that nothing is more important than right now. So get yourself ready. We're going to meditate.
In this quick meditation, we focus on lifting anxiety, fear, and depression. We begin by acknowledging the breath, getting comfortable in your seat, taking a deep breath in through the nose for a count of three, holding for a count of three, and exhaling through the mouth for a count of three. Beginning to relax the physical body, honoring the breath in, holding, and exhaling. Now I invite you to bring your awareness to the physical body with love and compassion, allowing the body to relax with each of the body parts that I mention, releasing any tension in that area, softening and relaxing it. If a thought comes in, no need to resist it or push it away. Anything important you will remember when it's needed. Allow the thought to just move on by like a slideshow understanding and mindful practice to be the observer and not the participant. You observe that it is a thought and nothing more. Now visualize yourself in the most comfortable bed you have ever experienced. It is soft and fluffy like a feather bed, or if you prefer, firm for your support. It molds around your body like memory foam. The sheets are white and the perfect temperature for you. And you begin to settle in and relax the physical body in the comfort of this bed. And bringing your awareness to the top of your head and releasing any tension in that area. Moving your awareness to the face and all the tiny facial muscles. Releasing any tension or stress. And moving to the neck and the throat. Softening and releasing. Across the back of the shoulders and down the arms. To the tips of the fingers. And bringing your awareness to the chest and the belly. Releasing any tension in the back, in the hips, the thighs, moving down the legs, the knees, the shins, the calves, all the way to the ankles and the feet and the tips of the toes, completely surrendering now. Truly enjoying this beautiful bed, so fluffy. So inviting, the bed becomes lighter and you begin to be lifted up as if you were floating in a cloud. You understand that the bed is now the cloud as it starts to rise, rising up to the ceiling and beyond the ceiling and above the house, above the building, above the trees, high in the sky going higher and higher as far as you comfortably want to explore, knowing that you are surrounded by the protection of the universal love and light, encased in the highest vibration of love and peace and well-being. Enjoy floating. Feel the lightness. an understanding that comes to you that your spirit is who you really are and the physical body that you use on earth is a sacred vessel. It is not a trap or a prison. It is a beautiful shelter and your spirit has the freedom to explore during meditation and sleeping hours to make the best of this worldly experience.
during your meditations, you will understand that every experience provides you wisdom and knowledge as you move through your journey on earth. You become aware that the worry and the doubt, the fear, the anxiety, any burdens you have been carrying are just messages of contrast teaching you to look at things a different way. As you look down from your clouds, you notice that there are heavy blocks labeled with each of the burdens of your heavy load that fosters maybe anxiety or stress. They appear to be very solid and very heavy. But as you are elevated on this platform above in the cloud, you feel happy and peaceful and free, light and empowered. And looking down on those burdens, send love to those burdens. Understanding with each, you've received such wisdom and knowledge. Now your perception has changed. Your focus has changed. You have changed. You no longer see those previously perceived burdens so heavy as you are in another frequency which makes them begin to dissipate. The energy of your perception that made them heavy and held them together and solid has changed and they are no longer in your reality. a few moments to give thanks for the healing experience and the understanding that your perception and your attention to those burdens is what made them solid and you no longer need to carry them. Rather, they just need to dissolve. Watch them dissolve from up above in the cloud until they are completely dissipated. It is time to give thanks for this journey and healing that has taken place. You are now ready to leave the cloud and come back down, descending, descending back to where you once began, envisioning yourself in that beautiful fluffy bed and slowly integrating back into the space and time. Slowly, slowly coming back into the physical body and grounding wiggling your fingers and your toes and taking a deep breath, giving yourself a nice stretch and only when you are fully present back in the body, open your eyes. Now you are ready to navigate your day or your evening in the knowing that you are loved. You are love and your attention is a powerful creator. Welcome back, everyone. How was that? How did you do? Well, I just want you to know that that is nine minutes. And even if you just weren't attached to your phone or your thoughts for just a couple of seconds, even, bravo, because this starts the practice. The benefits of the practice of mindfulness and meditation decreased stress response, better sleep mood elevation and stabilization, and so much more. These are just a few bullet points. And let me express to you, I could fill this entire slide or entire presentation because the ripple effect of this practice is extraordinary. So jump in. 
nourish yourself mindfully and give from the overflow is another mantra that I use uh, because your self-care and self-love is of the utmost priority. You will not have anything to give if you don't nourish yourself. And with each person that learns to prioritize love-based focus, embracing self-love and self-care, we evolve our civilization to one that is not only better, but extraordinary, and our industry as well. So it just takes each and every one of us individually. And we've got a nice gift for you. In the chat, you're going to receive a link, and it's also in the Unwrap It as well as my profile page. The um, the great collaboration. I just love collaborating with Unwrap It. They're an extraordinary company. Dig deep and finding out more about them. But this is a very cool way to get introduced to them. And you're going to have access to the extended version of the Journey on the Cloud Meditation. So you'll be able to access that, download it, and use it every single day, multiple times a day if you want. And it is 14 minutes long. So I hope you enjoy it and that you use it in good health. It's such a fun platform, so enjoy that. And as we are wrapping up, I just want to thank you. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you for engaging in your self-care and your self-love because truly it does lead to self-mastery. And we not only focus on the emotional or the spiritual part of our being, it's mind, body, spirit. It is an integration of all three. We are going to be doing some upcoming well-being challenges. I ask you to jump on my website, leepapa.com, subscribe to the newsletter, and stay connected because there's more to come on that. If you're interested in bringing mindfulness training in some capacity, meditation training as well, uh, to your meetings and events, check out leepapa.com slash book hyphen Lee. And then please download these free offerings for yourself on the website. And then join me for my new podcast that's coming this fall, Mindfully Speaking. Thank you so much for your time. You're awesome. Enjoy the rest of the conference. My goodness, Lee, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I realized as the meditation was happening that I wasn't even taking advantage. I'm, I'm curious in the chat if there were other people. I'm guilty myself. You know, we have this event going on. I'm doing all this back end logistics. Uh, Rachel from Snowball called me out in the chat because I was emailing her like, hey, can you get me this? And then I realized, wait, you can't be meditating because you're getting me something. Um, but this is the lesson that I it's, it's something I have to keep forcing myself to think about is that you have to make the space for this and mm -hmm. you have to commit to doing it because there, there are a lot of great resources. I'm sure you put out a ton of resources, but it's really up to the people who are watching to take advantage, right? <laughs> Indeed. I usually say I, I'm putting in the software, but it takes you to click on it, right? So yeah, you can making... only give people <laughs> so <right>. many uh, <laughs> resources <laughs> and then it's on us. But as we have just experienced over the last, especially year and a half. I mean, people always say the event industry, we are the most, you know, top five, most stressful jobs. Like that's to your point, a badge of honor, which it's definitely right. not. Uh, but getting away from that is just so, so hard. So I, there couldn't, in my opinion, couldn't have been a better way to have you join us today and kick off this event. So thank you so much for Liz, your time. Thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity to share. Awesome. Take care and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. And I hope all of you attendees are taking advantage of this moment, uh, turning off the emails. I know it's hard. It's so hard. I know myself, I have way too many tabs open right now. Uh, but we are going to get started with the program in just about 15 minutes. Um, we will have a little countdown video. We're going to put on a holding slide for now and give people a chance to get in uh, for those who are just going to join for the welcome and we will kick things off. So for now, I am going to uh, sit, let you get your coffee and take a moment for yourself to relax before we jump into the rest of this great day. Thank you so much for joining and we will see you all very soon.